show me something from the Quran and not from the Hadith. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you sure you want to stick with the Quran? Because I'm going to embarrass you. Go to chapter 33, yes. verse 37 of the Quran. Don't you dare go to the Hadith. Go to chapter okay, 33, verse 37. Pull it up. Pull it up. Watch, I'm going to embarrass you because guys notice the coward. Yes. She's saying, don't go to the Hadith. Okay, don't you dare answer any of my questions from the Hadith. You stick with the Quran. 33, 37. Quran what? Chapter 33, Three? verse 37 of the Quran. 37. Yep. Read it for me. Okay. I'm Read it for me. It. All right. 337. 33, says, verse 37. I said it now three times. Chapter 33, verse 37. 33, 37. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Read it for me. Okay, I'm getting it. 3337. Yes. Okay, that's 3337 says, What is the Hulu Lady and Amal Lahu Alehi? She's torturing herself from reading Arabic, but go ahead, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. No, I, I give you A for credit. I give you A for credit. Keep going. Keep going. What? Okay. Nafsika mallahu mubdihi wa taqsha nasa wallahu haqqu an taqshahu falamma qada zaydun minha wa taran zawaj You want to make it easier for yourself and just read the English? Because you're doing, you're killing the Arabic and Allah is going to kill you for killing the Arabic. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, he will. Uh, you want me to lie to you? Allah will kill you and damn you for killing, butchering his book. What are you talking about? I'm not lying. Don't make me quote the ayat to prove true. it. Okay, it's not true. Can you just read the English, Zayed? Okay, we, I know what you're reading. Okay. okay just read the English. Okay. Oh, I'll read snack the English. Book. Good. Read English, okay. And remember, O oh Muhammad, when you said to the one on whom Allah bestowed favor and you bestowed favor, keep your wife and fear Allah while you concealed within yourself that which Allah is to disclose. And you feared the people while Allah has more right that you fear him. So when Zayd had no longer any need for her, we married her to you in order that there not be upon the believers any discomfort concerning the wives of their adopted sons when they no longer have need of them. And ever is the command of Allah accomplished. Okay, who Zayd? Don't go to the hadith. You moment go to hadith, I'm gonna embarrass you again. I don't want to do that. You're you're a lady. Who's Zayed? Who is Zayed? Mm -hmm. Who's Zayed? Don't go to the I hadith. I don't see anything in this verse that ah, is bad. Like so you saying. don't know who Zayed is. So you have no stinking clue what in the world this verse is about because you need the hadith. But remember, you said don't go to the hadith. Now go to chapter one eleven of the Quran. Go to chapter one eleven of the Quran. Okay. Surah al -Lahad. See, I've been there, done that. See, I got t-shirts for all of this. I don't know if you know. I got t-shirts for all this, and I'll send you a t-shirt. It's called Been There, Done That, Got the T-shirt. Now go to chapter Quran, 111. What? 111. Chapter 111. Just 111 of the Quran. 111. That's it. It's the whole okay. surah. It's a short surah. Read for me. Surah al-Masad. Okay. Yeah, Masad, or also it's called Surah al -Lahad. But go ahead, read it for me. May the hands of Abu Lahab be ruined, and ruined is he. His wealth will not avail him or that which he gained. He will enter to burn in a fire of blazing flame, and his wife as well, the carrier of firewood, around her neck is a rope of twisted fiber. Okay. Who's Abu Lahab? I don't know. Wow. But you just said to me, show me from the Quran. Don't show me from Hadith. And yet here you are. You need the Hadith to make sense out of your Quran. See the hypocrisy? Now let me give you a couple more, and don't answer it because you want me to make me uh, stay with the Quran. I'm gonna force you to stay with the Quran, so you don't go to Hadith. I don't go to Hadith. Allahu Akbar. Go to chapter 17, verse one of the Quran, Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, verse one. Okay. See, I hope you're learning how not to argue and how to argue. Chapter 17, verse one. Okay, Surah Al-Isra. Hmm? Read for me, verse one. Exalted is he who took his servant by night from Al-Masjid Al-Haram to Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, whose surroundings we have blessed to show him of our signs. Indeed, he is the hearing, the seeing. Okay. It says, exalted is he who took his servant by night. Who's his servant? 
how would we know who his servant is? They are, the thank you. Page. And it says, take them from Masjid al Haram to Masjid al Aqsa. Where is Masjid al Haram? Exactly. Where is Masjid, Masjid al Aqsa? Exactly. I'm not what is the point though? The point is you need the hadith uh, uh, ukhti, to make sense of the Quran, but you just told me don't go to the hadith. Ya ukhti. The reason why I said don't go to hadith is because there are strong and weak hadith. And every hadith yeah. I quote to you will be sahih, sound. Don't play the game with me with da'if and hasan. Even within, even within sahih al-Bukhari or Muslim. Oh, so you mean the foundation hadith. of your Quran, you destroyed it because without Bukhari, bury your Quran, you have no idea about the Quran. So you're not listening to yourself, what you're doing to your deen. You are destroying your deen because without sahih Bukhari, once you question it, you destroy the foundation of the Quran. In fact, here, I'm going to prove to you, you have nothing to stand on now that you've even questioned Sayyid Bukhari. The Quran, where does it say what the Quran is, how many chapters make up the Quran, and how many verses of the Quran there are? Does the Quran say that? No. How do you know what the Quran is, how many chapters of the Quran, the names of the Quran, the chapters, and the verses without... The hadith, but you just buried the hadith because when I said sahih, oh, but even in Bukhari, there are weak hadith. You destroyed the foundation of your deen. Go find you another religion. You have nothing to stand on. In fact, how many times does the name Muhammad appear in your Quran? I've already heard that argument. But how many? You're not answering me. I don't care how many times you heard it. Answer me. How many times does the name of your prophet Muhammad appear in the Quran? Can I address your point that you said before that? Which one? I gave you many. You didn't address any of them. Which one? About the Quran. Okay. You said how many verses, how many, all of that. Yes. Right? We only know that from the hadith. That's what you're saying? No. Well, how do you know? Forget the hadith. You tell me how do you know what the Quran is? Well, we know because the Quran is the word of God. which was Where does the Quran say it's the word of God? Muhammad. No, no, I'm going to catch you. Where does the Quran say it's the word of God? Give me the verse where it says this Quran is the word of God. See, I'm going to catch you. Everything you say, I'm going to destroy your argument. Show me from the Quran where the Quran says the Quran is the word of God. Show it to me. Okay, I will. You won't. It's not there. Believe me. Been there. Remember what I said? I got the shirt. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. You're only going to embarrass yourself. There's not a single verse in the Quran that says the Quran is the word of God. And Sheikh Google is not going to help you. Quran was revealed. Where does it say it was revealed to Muhammad? Muhammad's name only appears four times. Where does the Quran say this Quran was sent down to Muhammad? And this Quran in its entirety is 114 surahs with these verses all sent to Muhammad. Where does it say that? It doesn't say it. Say it again? Like, wait, wait, say it again? It, no, no, don't cut me off. No, but say it, it again. I want to emphasize it. that part. It doesn't what? No. It says it in different parts of the Quran. It doesn't Give me say one, it one part. Easy part. Give me one part that says the that the Quran was sent to Muhammad. The first, the first revelation. The Give first me revelation where it says it's Quran. given to Muhammad. You're not listening. Listen to me. Give me one part that says, and this was given to Muhammad. Give it to me. It doesn't say this is given to Muhammad. Beautiful. Everyone heard you. It doesn't times. say it. Then how do you oh, know? Muhammad. How do you know that? Times. It, there's many times where it says, oh, Muhammad. No, it doesn't. It only or, says Muhammad four Allah, times. It only Allah. says it four times. So you're not listening and you're embarrassing yourself. I already said it. Muhammad, the name Muhammad only appears four times. Every other place when it says say, who is it saying say to? Or it says, oh, prophet, who's the name of that prophet? Stop begging the question and prove your case. Rasulullah. Who is Rasulullah? Jesus is Rasulullah. Ruh, where does it say Rasulullah is Muhammad in those verses? In those verses. When you read the context of those verses... Give you know me a single verse Muhammad. where it says, Ya Rasulullah, and in the context you can prove to me it's Muhammad. Give me one. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I don't I don't have the Quran memorized. I'm not claiming to be like a... Ustaz. Oh, but you, you know enough about the Bible to attack the Bible in your ignorance. And now yet when the Quran... Oh, but I'm not a scholar, brother. I'm not a scholar. But you sure sound like you're a scholar and trying to attack the Bible. Why, you hypocrite. <laughs> 